purple, 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 purple. Oh. Purple. You know, this stuff. I did a video on my favorite color green a while back, and I asked you guys if you wanted a follow up about my second favorite color. Can you guess what it is? If your number one favorite color is purple, the internet says you are sensitive and compassionate, understanding and supportive, thinking of others before yourself. This here is my mum's favorite color, and since you guys don't know her, this is a pretty good way to sum her up. You can be secretive, even with your closest friends not knowing you well. What are you hiding? It better be a pet dog. Oh man. Picture this. A nine-year-old girl sitting in class, minding her business. Then a teacher appearing out of nowhere and announcing something along the lines of, oh, a purple pencil case, purple stationery, and a purple book. It's pretty obvious what your favorite color is. Oh, ha, um, my favorite color is green. But even now I still get questions like, uh, why is your character more purple than green? Do I honestly need to keep showing this embarrassment of a first character design? I think purple is more appropriate for me. Random purple fun fact number one. It is a royal color. Royal. Let me explain. Back in the old days when people could only access natural dyes, purple was by far the hardest to obtain. They got the color out of mucus glands of sea snails. Yep. Snail mucus! More than 10,000 snails were needed just to make one tiny gram of purple. This was a time consuming and expensive process, hence why the royals only decked out their rooms with this color. Some of you guys might know I actually have purple hair. Well, had purple hair. It's got a bit of green going on now. Green. Going on. But I had purple for over two years. It was my first time dyeing my hair and I got it in a balayage style so it gradually went up to my natural hair on top. Want to know something else that's purple? My cheek. Sometimes. Two nights in a row I had woken up to find purple smudges across my face. What could this be? Well, it was a good sleep, that's for sure. I literally dribbled down my face, into my hair, and some of the color washed out and onto my skin. What? Jess, why does your character not have purple or green hair? Since you said you have colored it, but it's still brown, 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 brown. brown, brown, brown. That's a valid question. I knew my purple hair wouldn't last forever, and this green face probably won't either. I'll always have brown to go back to though. <sighs> Can you smell that? It's the fresh spring air. It's autumn where I am in Australia, but most of my viewers are from the US, so let's run with it. Ah uh, yes, spring is in the air. Oh, but what is that? It's in the air. It's falling? I've done a little spring cleaning on my merch store and while I was at it, I added a couple new items for you guys. First up, the falling circles design on a short sleeve t-shirt. Magnificent! This is one of my most simple products I've made yet, but it's also one of my all-time favorites. Boom! Wobbly boy nation! And finally, a fan favorite is finally back in stock, the Jelly Jess sticker sheet. Love a sticker. <laughs> Look at this fried egg looking loser. I feel ya. Link is below if you guys would like to check out these bad boys. Thanks so much for always showing support for merch drops like these. I hope you guys like them. One time my family and I traveled to the bottom of Australia, aka this little place here called Tasmania. My mum is obsessed with anything lavender related, so we for sure had to visit the massive lavender field while we were there. Whilst waiting in the entry line, my mum was looking at their giftware and noticed this cute, small bear, lavender soap. Hey Jess, sniff this. Ah! What have you done? I get pretty severe hay fever, so being around all that lavender in the first place was a disaster waiting to happen, but having lavender literally shoved up my nose? Photos of me on this day really do be looking like. We also got to try lavender flavored ice cream, cake, and a milkshake. How wacky. 
The ice cream was definitely the highlight. Random purple fun fact number two. Carrots were originally purple. Somewhere in the timeline, there was a mutation where it caused all the purple pigment to leave and the classic orange carrots to take over. Purple carrots still exist, of course, but it seems like they're only available in much more limited places. So yeah. Get amongst it or something, I don't know. Purple characters, let's go! We got the blob from McDonald's. Um, good start. <laughs> His name is Grimace. Next, Isma, Tinky Winky, Evil Minion, Share Bear, Walla Luigi, Leela, Barney, Count Von Count. I hate him, he was so boring. Chef Elsa, Stu Pickles, Randall, Genga, Gurgle the Fish, Lumpy Space Princess, and last but not least, can't forget. Wake up, Jeff. Random purple fun fact number three. Dominica is the only country that has purple in their country's flag. Out of 195 countries, ube cake. A traditional Filipino cake with a sponge type texture. What makes it purple though? Food coloring? Wrong, it is mashed up purple yam. My friend Angel brought some of this cake to high school once and I got to taste it and damn, it was lit. A teacher then walked up to us. Whoa, is that purple cake? Yep. Um, nom 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 nom. Oh, yum. Speaking of food, I find it weird that there's actually a lot of food that are purple in color, but has a different color in its name. For example, blueberries, blackberries, red onion, red cabbage, red lettuce, black currant, etc. Where's the logic? Did you know there's such thing as purple asparagus, sweet potato, cauliflower, carrots? You better know that one already. Corn, capsicum, and broccoli? Yeah, since when? If you've tried any of these purple variants, I'd love to read your reviews below, please. There are also some really pretty purple animals living on our planet too. Just look at these birds, this snake, this starfish. Look at these fish. Look at them! But the cutest one of them all has to be the purple frog. <laughs> Random purple fun fact number four. Some people believe like the word orange, the word purple doesn't rhyme with anything. Haha, <laughs> false. A purple is the bottom strap of a saddle, a purple is a limp, and a purple is... No, please no! <laughs> This one's a bit random, but Fall Out Boy's Mania Tour. Quite the throwback. I got to see them live when they last toured Australia and the show was amazing. They played a lot of older songs that I enjoy, but look at how it was visually. Now I'm going to say a line and I hope some people understand what I'm talking about. Are you ready? One eyed, one horned, sing it with me! Flying purple people eater. I swear every kindergarten class in Australia had to perform this song at school assemblies. I had a teacher that would always get in his feels when playing this song on his guitar. It was kind of like, stuff the kids. This is his solo performance. I'd also like to put out there that there is no bad shade of purple. They all get a gold star from me. Someone could vomit that lavender ice cream and I'm sure it would look delicious. Yeah, maybe scrap that line. <laughs> Random purple fun fact number five. Crying obsidian is the best block in all of Minecraft. Who hurt you, little guy? You okay? You want a tissue? <laughs> yes, please. If you guys have made it this far in the video, leave a comment below telling me what your favorite purple thing in the world is. Or even better, let me know any characters I've forgotten to mention in this video. I'll respond to them over on my second channel, which the link is below.